hey family welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be working on baby shower treats and the theme for today is teddy bear so we actually have two orders to fulfill and the second theme is safari animals so if you are interested in seeing that theme make sure to be on the lookout for the next video so yeah guys, I am going to bring you along with me to work on these treats, so let's get started. Alright guys, I am going to start with my strawberries. I am going to be dipping 12 strawberries in 3 different colors, white, nude, and blue. So I am going to do 3 of each shade. So for the blue, I had used Color Mill in the color Baby Blue and I did not like the way it was coming out. I feel like the blue was way too light. So I went ahead and redipped them in Chef Masters Royal Blue. And I feel like that's a more true shade of Baby Blue for my liking. And for the next three strawberries, I am going to do a marble effect. So I'm just going to pour some white chocolate in my piping bag, drizzle it over the blue chocolate and then just dip my strawberry right in there. Twist it around a little bit and you should get this beautiful marble effect. Look how gorgeous this looks. I love this marble effect, it looks so beautiful. Now I am going to move on to the Rice Krispie Treats and using lollipop sticks, I am going to go ahead and dip them into our three shades. After inserting your lollipop sticks, you might want to give it a couple minutes so that the chocolate can harden and when you dip your Rice Krispie Treats inside of your chocolate, it won't fall off the stick. And I am making one dozen of each treat except for the apples which are just half a dozen apples. And once the chocolate has hardened, we are going to start to dip our Rice Krispie Treats just as we would our strawberries. And you should start to have Rice Krispie Treats that look like this. And while I am working on my treats, I am making my caramel, making sure that it is nice and warm and I am ready to go for when the time comes. Now we are going to do the same marble effect on our Rice Krispie treats. You just want to twirl your treats inside of the chocolate, moving it around. And when it's time for you to tap on your wrist to remove the excess, you want to do it gently so that you don't lose that marble effect. Thank you. 
and now I am going to start working on our chocolate covered Oreos. So I am just going to dry off my mold, making sure it's really clean. And I'm going to be pouring in some chocolate into each cavity. Once the chocolate is poured, you want to give it some taps just so that all the air bubbles can rise to the top and they can pop on their own. And then you're just going to place your Oreo inside of the cavities and cover it completely. Continue to tap to remove all the air so that you don't get any air pockets in your Oreos. And that is it. We are going to repeat the same process for the next three colors. Now that we have our Oreos covered in chocolate, we are going to place them in the fridge for like five minutes. And after five minutes, we are going to go ahead and remove them from our mold. Turning our mold around and tapping on each of our Oreos, it should easily pop out of the mold. And now to achieve the marble effect on our Oreos, I am just going to drizzle some white chocolate in our cavities and then pour some blue chocolate over top of the white. And while I am waiting for my Oreos to harden, I am going to start to dip my apples into my caramel. Like usual, just twirling it into the caramel, scraping the bottom, and placing them on a cake disc. Don't forget to stir your caramel continuously to prevent it from burning. I'm obsessed with the marbling effect of this Oreo. It came out perfectly. And now I am moving on to my pretzels. I am going to wrap them around with caramel. And I am just going to heat up the caramel with my hands. Then I'm going to roll it into a string. And once it's the length that I am looking for, I am just going to wrap it around my pretzel rod. And here are all our pretzels wrapped in caramel. Now I am going to move on to my apples. I am going to dip this one in the baby blue shade and scraping the bottom so that no caramel falls into my chocolate. I don't want to ruin my chocolate. And I like to work by colors. So I am going to dip all my treats in, that I have to in this baby blue color. That way I don't have to constantly wash each cup and each plate. I could just get all the baby blue out the way, move on to the white, and do the same thing for the nude. And here is a close-up of our pretzels covered in chocolate. And once we are done with the baby blue, we're going to move on to our nude, repeating the same process. And here I am tapping the bowl to remove any air bubbles that are trapped in our chocolate before I begin to dip my apples. And because I am only doing half a dozen apples, I am just doing two apples of each color.
And now we are moving on to white chocolate and we are going to repeat the same exact step. And once I have all my treats covered in chocolate, I am going to work on my molds, making all my designs to decorate all of my treats. And this process takes forever, so I'm just going to show you a quick clip and then we are going to move on to decorating our treats. And here are the molds that I used to make these little decorations for our treats. I got them all off of Amazon and I will leave the links down in the description box. So now I'm just going to decorate each pretzel raw just drizzling chocolate over them. And I am going to glue on with my chocolate these cute little teddy bears. And look how beautiful it is turning out. And for the nude, I was a little nervous since the teddy bear and the chocolate was the same color, but I think it came out pretty cute. Now I am going to move on to decorating our apples, and I am just going to add on this chocolate frame that I made with my mold. I'm going to just cut around the edges and remove any excess chocolate. And then with our chocolate, we are just going to glue on the frame to our apple. You might need to hold your frame on for a couple seconds just to make sure it doesn't slide off and it dries completely. And then I am just going to add a little teddy bear to the center of it. And I'm going to repeat the process to the next apple. And look at this apple I think it looks so cute now for this teddy bear you guys this mold is so cool look how cute this teddy bear is I'm so impressed with this mold I highly recommend it when I was removing the teddy bear it did not break on me and I love the little bowl look how beautiful this is And for this last apple, I am just going to add on some little baby feet just to keep it nice and simple since the other apples are really decorated. And here it is with its little baby feet glued on. Now for the other treats, we are just going to repeat the same process. And all these little designs, teddy bears and shapes were made using chocolate. You can also use fondant with your molds and it is a lot quicker. I decided to use chocolate just because I didn't want to bust out the fondant. But I just wanted to share that information with you guys so that you can know that you have options.
And for these last little Oreos and Rice Krispie treats, we are going to decorate them using edible gold leaves. And we're just going to add a little touch of gold to each Oreo and Rice Krispie treats. And these are for the ones that have the marble effect. I didn't want to add anything else over it because it would cover up the marbling effect. So I just wanted to give it like a little pop of gold. And now for the final touches, I am just going to finish off my apples adding some paper straws. I'm going to cut it down to the, to the length of the wooden stick. And then I am going to be adding some beautiful little bows to them just to make our apples pop a little bit more. And once our apples are all set, I am going to move on to my Rice Krispie Treats and I am going to do the same thing, just decorating them with some little bows. And here is our end result. I love it, you guys. I love how it's a balance of decorated but not overly decorated. It's right in the middle. And I feel like it's super cute. It's so adorable. Perfect for a baby shower. And I love everything neutral. I am a sucker for neutral. So this combination, I really enjoyed. But let me know down in the comment sections, what are your thoughts? Did you like it? Do you not like it? Share with me any thoughts that you have about these decorations. Are you guys going to try it? Let me know down in the comment sections. I love to read your comments. And here is a better look of our Rice Krispie Treats. Look how beautiful they look. Guys, I am obsessed with this theme. It's so cute. It's perfect for a baby shower. I recommend you guys doing these if you're having a baby. If you're having a baby boy, this is the perfect theme for you. Give it a try. Alright guys, and that is it for today's video. Now I am just going to package up all these treats and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and may God's peace be with you all.